For some fly fishers, there's no finer time of the year than June and the overlapping hatches of two prominent stillwater insects. Large trout and mountain reservoirs appear to throw caution to the wind when waves of damselfly nymphs are wiggling their way towards shore and the large calabatus mayfly nymphs are emerging at the surface. A hot spot for stillwater hatches are the fertile waters of North Park's famous Delaney Butte Reservoirs. Recommended dry fly patterns include the following in size 12 to 14. A Calabatus Quigley, a Calabatus Comparadon, a Parachute Adams, and a Damselfly. For wet flies, try a size 10 to 14 Olive Damselfly Nymph, a Pheasant Tail, and a Brown Hackle Peacock fished as an emerger. In June, Damselfly Nymphs, which have lived in the deep weeds for a full year, abandon the safety of the substrate to make a treacherous migration to distant shores. On any given morning, thousands of nymphs may rise from the depths to just beneath the surface and begin wiggling toward shore. The enticing undulations of waves of robust insects does not go without notice. Trout cruise beneath migrating insects, picking them off at will. Trout also may position themselves near shore where they can intercept the nymphs as they climb out of the water to emerge into adults. The technique for fishing the damselfly hatch is simple. Just make your fly look and act like the real thing. With a floating fly line and a long leader, cast the unweighted damselfly nymphs straight out from shore and let the fly sink about 12 inches. Retrieve the fly with long, steady strips, pausing between strips to let the fly sink. He's fighting. Whoa. Tactics for fishing the Calabatus hatch require a bit more patience than the damselfly hatch. A good practice is to keep moving until you find an area where the large mayflies are seen on the water and trout are rising. The best tactic is to cast a dry fly into an area of rising trout and let it sit there until a fish eats it. On calm days, giving the fly an occasional twitch or retrieving it slowly may induce more strikes. On windy days, emerging Calabatus adults struggle getting off the water, and the Quigley Cripple becomes a very effective pattern. 